What's up everybody, it's Mo Plox, and this is my 99 hunting guide for old school RuneScape. And uh, this is the method that I use to get 99 Hunter in EOC and as well as old school RuneScape. Uh, this is the fastest method in my opinion. If you have a different opinion, more power to you. But with that being said, let's get into it. Uh, first, you're going to want to get a dueling ring. And you are going to want to teleport to Castle Wars. And you're going to want to make your way to Yanil, and you're going to go to the Hunter Shop. And you're going to want to trade a guy there named Alec. And he's going to be selling you all the traps that you need to get started in hunting. Uh, from levels 1 to 9, you are actually not even going to need to hunt anything. You're just going to have to go to Varrock Museum. You're going to go downstairs. Uh, you're going to talk to a museum dude. He's going to be right there when you get downstairs. You're going to do a little short mini game, and he'll give you a 1,000 experience points in hunting and in slayer. So if you have level 1 in both, uh, there's a free level 9 hunting, and there's free level 9 slayer right there. From levels 9 to 15, you're going to be hunting Copper Longtails, and Copper Longtails... Uh, if you don't know where they're located, here's a picture for you, and you're gonna need a bird snare. Uh, I strongly advise you to bring multiple bird snares because sometimes it's, it's gonna happen. You're gonna lose your, uh, snare, and if you only got one or two and you lose both of them, then, uh, you're gonna, uh, have a hard time getting back to the shop and going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. You don't want to do that. So bring multiple bird snares. Uh, the next one is from level 15 to 20, you're going to be hunting ruby harvest butterflies and you're going to need a butterfly net and a butterfly jar. Uh, bring, eh, I'd say about maybe 5 to 10 jars. Um, I'm not sure whether you get the experience once you release them from the jar or once you catch them. I'm pretty sure it's when you finally catch them, that's when you get the actual experience. And if you don't know where the ruby harvest butterflies are, again, here's a picture. From level 20 to 25, you're going to be hunting tropical wagtails, and you are going to need, again, multiple bird snares. Uh, you're going to be hunting them the same way that you did copper longtails from levels 9 to 15, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You get there, you set up your bird snare. Um, your bird snare, birds can touch it, and it will fall over, so you may have to dismantle the trap and then put it back up so you can catch uh, more. Uh, once you increase your levels, you'll be able to lay multiple traps. So look at your hunter guide on your skills menu and see what the level is for multiple traps. From levels 25 to 41, you're actually going to be hunting three different animals. Um, you're going to be hunting Cyrilene Twitches. Uh, that requires level 11 hunter. You're going to be hunting Sapphire Glacialises. That is level 25. And uh, you're going to be hunting Snowy Night Butterflies also at level 35. You're going to stay in this spot right here. Um, I forgot the name of it, but let's just call it Superman's Home. Because Superman lives in ice and this is one big giant, giant ass icy place. Anyway, uh, the main thing that you're going to start out hunting here is Sapphire Glacialises. And they're butterflies, so bring a butterfly net and a butterfly jar that you can catch them in. But you're also going to want to bring bird snares because while you're hunting sapphire glacialises, you can also hunt cerulean twitches, which is another type of arctic bird in the uh, Superman house. So uh, be on the lookout for both of those animals and you can hunt them at the same time and get even more XP. Superman's home. Pretty cool. From levels 41 to 43, you're going to want to go uh, back to the place where the Ruby Harvest Butterflies are. And you're going to want to hunt Prickly Kevits. You're going to be making Stonefall Traps. And what you need for that is, you're going to need logs. But it's okay, because uh, there's plenty of trees in the area that you can chop down to get logs. So definitely bring an axe. Do not forget your axe. You're going to need a knife. You're also going to need a tinderbox, and the reason why you need a tinderbox is because you're also going to need a torch. Alex Hunting Shop also sells torches. You're going to want a tinderbox, you're going to want to light that torch, and once you set up the trap with your logs, then you're going to want to use the torch on the trap to cover your scent from the animals that are nearby. And uh, you set up the trap, and... When the trap falls, you may or may not have a kevit up in there, all squished and stuff. 
And once you get to 43, you're going to want to hunt spotted cabbage. You're going to want to walk a little bit northeast where you were hunting the prickly cabbage. Spotted cabbage are actually very different. You don't need any kind of trap or anything, but you are going to want to have your right and left hand free with nothing equipped in your equipment slot. And you're going to need 500 coins. And you're going to want that 500 coins because you're going to have to uh, purchase a falcon. And uh, you're going to want to click on the spotted kevits and your falcon will go after one of the kevits. Um, uh, sometimes it gets it, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, sometimes your falcon will actually fly away, but that's okay. You got to go talk to the falconer dude when that happens and he will get it back for you free of charge. From levels 47 to 57, you're going to be hunting orange salamanders, and you're going to need a net and some rope to set up the trap. This is out in the desert, so bring some desert supplies, water skins, desert robes, yada, 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 yada. all that good stuff. Um, you won't die too quickly, uh, or, or rather, no, you don't want to die. Um, rather, you won't lose your water too quickly out here while you're hunting, so uh, you should be good. Just bring like eight water skins, and you'll be all right. Uh, but anyway, stay here to level 57, and once you're at level 57, you want to go back to the falconer, and from levels 57 to 59, you're going to be hunting dark cabbage with the falcon. From levels 59 to 73, you actually have a bit of a choice here. Um, from 59 to 63... You're going to need to do red salamanders. There's no way of getting around that. You're going to want to do red salamanders. And you can teleport to Castle Wars. And uh, there's some red salamanders north of there. And here's where they're at. Look at that picture. Study it. Memorize it. But uh, anyway, you do red salamanders from 59 to 63 if you want. And until you can hunt red chinchampas. Some people immediately go into red chinchampas. I did when I turned level 63 because uh, I wanted money and they were a lot back then. I'm not really sure how much they are now. But uh, you can go from 59 to 63 with red salamanders or you can stay doing red salamanders until level 73. And from 73 to 99, uh, you can do red chinchampas all the way from 73 to 99. It's a little bit less money than black chins. But when you're doing red chinchampas, you don't have to worry about anybody coming up to you and killing you. And uh, at level 80, you can lay five traps at a time, so that's a plus. But if at level 73, if you want to uh, do black chins, uh, you're going to need box traps, uh, of course. But you're also going to need some f***ing balls. Because <laughs> you're going to be in the wilderness. The only good thing about black chins is that they cost a lot more, so you'll be making more money. Uh, they're better XP. And, uh, you can lay six traps at a time in the wilderness, whereas if you weren't in the wilderness and you were doing red gins, you can only, uh, set five traps at a time. So, whether or not you want to risk your life is up to you. You can use imp boxes to bank your black chins if someone's about to kill you, you can bank them. But, uh, I still wouldn't do it, just because I'm scared of the wilderness. <laughs> Alright guys, this has been my old school RuneScape Hunter Guide. I hope it has helped you out. If it has, then show you some appreciation and comment on the video. Uh, thumbs up the video. And uh, my name's Moplox. I play RuneScape. I'm not ashamed. Touch tips with the like button. Good luck hunting, y'all.